Hey guys, today's video is a little bit different. Just a nice quick one. I've been a little bit busy. I was going to edit a motor vlog today, but stuff happened. You're going to know exactly what happened because you're going to watch this video. Before we get into the video, guys, thank you so, so much for the back the fuck up support. The sale for the back the fuck up shirts end today and then they relaunch and you got to wait till next week. Link is always in the description as well, guys. Aimhighclothing.com is a huge success. At least for now, the launch was super successful and I can only thank you guys because you guys are supporting that movement. So if you want to rep some Aim High, link is also in the description. Now the day started off good, guys. I was cruising, chilling, bought a bunch of appliances for the new house, bought a fridge, a stove, a microwave, a dryer, a washer, and a something else. It's just too many things to name right now. Uh, when you move into a new house with nothing in it, then you obviously got to kind of get literally everything. And my hand's getting tired, so I'm kind of holding it up. But um, driving around, weather's nice. Was going to hit up a car meet, but... Unfortunately, the police shut it down right away. So that's what happened there. So I, I drove around pretty much doing whatever. And then all I see is low pressure on my tire. I'm like, all right, so maybe maybe it'll just stay low and not go flat. Drove around for 10 seconds, lower, lower, lower. It went to like 90. I'm like, do I risk it? Go home 15 minutes away or pull over? The second I pull over, guys, 15 seconds later, the tire went from kind of flat to completely flat. Okay, no more air was coming out. A couple stopped, they were walking their dog, the guy actually came back, helped me try to like pump the tire up because he had a compressor and everything. The ZL1 does not come with a spare tire, so that's what it is there. Uh, we pumped it up, but the air was losing faster than it was gaining with that compressor, so that kind of sucked. So then I called Tina, Tina couldn't come, she was an hour away, CAA was under her name, I didn't know if they would do it for me or not, so I didn't call CAA. But I did have Chevrolet Road Assistant, so I called them, took them two hours or three hours to come or whatever. And on top of that guys, Joel came out to help out as well. He actually helps me with the Aim High clothing um, photos that you see with the clothing. That's He takes the photos and edits them. So that's cool. You guys can check him out on Instagram. From then on, we kind of waited for Chevy Roadside Assistance to come. There was like these three teenagers or like like in their 20s or whatever. And they were like drunk. The guy wasn't drunk, but the two girls looked trash. On a Sunday too, right? Like not even a Saturday you can get a box. Yeah. Bye bye I'll see her in half an hour. Give her a kiss. Are you going to get back? What's that? I'm taking it home. Half I'm going to fix it at home. Oh, yeah. half an hour. Oh. They offered me wine to kind of help me feel better. They're like, yo, you want a sip of wine if it makes you feel any better? And I was like, nah, it's all right. But the guy was like, he knew like about cars and stuff. So he, he really enjoyed the car. The girls did call me cute. So Tina, please don't kill me. And um, for every like we get on this video is another like that saves me from dying. Because Tina might kill me. So if you reach a shit ton of likes, she might not kill me. I don't know, man. I'm just kind of sad. So I like button would kind of make me feel better. The tow truck guy came. He was super cool. He was he was freaking cool. But because my car is lower than usual and they sent out a top, like a really high flatbed, it was really sketchy to put the car on. But everything worked out. We chatted in the car. Uh, we got the car back home and all that stuff. So I'm just going to play the footage now, guys. It's not too much, but it is what it is. I just wanted to post something today, guys, uh, just to give you an update. I do want to post ZL1 videos on this channel, maybe a little bit more. Uh, it is what it is, but long story short, I'm back home waiting for Tina to come. Uh, probably going to eat some food to make me feel better. And that's that. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys, I don't, you're not going to enjoy me, you know, seeing me with a flat tire and stuff. But it is what it is. Love you. So I found a uh, tire kit. It has the compressor and the good old sealer, but it's not sealing it properly. I can see, look, but you probably can't tell. See, there's sealant. But it's still leaking out and it's not coming out. I don't know, man. I'll see if it works. Yeah. Yep. 
it's once it gets off the block. When it gets off the block, it's gonna jump. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, hold on, I might like almost off now. Off the block, almost. It's like halfway. Halfway, yeah. Yeah, pretty on much. It, yeah. It. Okay, hold on. You can let go now. Okay. I hate these looks, man. Yeah. These looks make it like hundred times harder. I know. All right, now we're in the flatbed going down in the car as well, so you guys can tell. Okay, hold your brake. Hold it all the way. Yeah. Holding the brake. Flat tire is a bitch in this car, man. Holding. It's like, don't let go. Oh, shot. I'm nervous, <laughs> man. <laughs> Really bad day, yeah. let go of that brake. <laughs> yeah, like I have to hold the brake now, so I'm kind of like just pushing it as hard as I can because I don't want to slip nothing. Literally, an iPhone video, guys. What a day! Joel came out to help. The tow truck came in pretty much like an hour later. The car's back in the garage. This is the flat tire, it's mad flat right now. If you guys could tell, I don't know how to show you guys properly. Like this the air escapes faster than you can put the air in, the sealant didn't properly work. There's no car jack or spare tire with this car, but it is what it is. It could have been a lot worse. A subscriber actually caught me with the flat tire, and he's like, yo, I was having a shitty day, but I met you. It's kind of better. So, it, well, how did the saying go? My misfortune is your, or your misfortune is my fault. Misfortune is another one's fortune. I Something guess. like that. Yeah, so pretty much like he was a shitty, having a shitty day. He said, what's up? It made it a little better. So I felt good about that. And, um, I mean, a flat tire is a flat tire. You can easily fix it. But it's just inconvenient. That's all it is. But... We have the car, we're blessed and everything. We have friends that come and help you and shit. So I appreciate that. We're going to works, getting some burgers and ice cream. It is what it is, guys. Um, I think I'm gonna start posting ZL1 videos on my 6 foot 4 Honda channel to kind of give you guys more of a thing. Stop bike's gonna happen, hell yeah. Um, this tow truck driver right there is coming through right now. Thank you, sir. He is the bomb, like he's a cool guy to talk to. He actually rides too and everything, so that is what it is. Um, we're gonna fix this tire up probably like to later today or tomorrow. Maybe go to Canadian Tire, get some sealer right now and tip. Tum tire, take it easy. Lots of love and respect. Hashtag six foot flat. <laughs>